Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy works. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any works, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. Then he rested on the seventh day. And not only did he rest on the seventh day, he also blessed the seventh day. The Bible says, not Brother Kwame, but the Bible says, remember, 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 remember the Sabbath day forever. The Bible never said, remember Sunday to keep it holy. The Bible specifically said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Again, the Bible says, remember, key word, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. For six days thou shalt labor and do all thy works. But the seventh day was ordained by the Most High to be the Sabbath day. The Bible never said, remember the first day of the week to keep it holy. I never seen that in the Bible. The Bible specifically gives credit to the seventh day of the week over and over again, all throughout the Bible, all in the New Testament. Day number seven, that is the day that the most high chose. And the thing is, this is the fourth commandment law. 
And the thing is, this is the only commandment that begins with the word remember. See, people, these are all obviously. But the only commandment that sticks out from all the other ones is the one that says, remember the Sabbath day. It is the only one. That is the fourth commandment law. These commandments were written straight from the most high's fingers in stone. Think about it, people. If something, if something was written by the most high's fingers, does you do you really think that's going to be wiped out? No, that is something that represents everlasting. The Bible clearly states all throughout the Bible that the most high's laws are eternal. They have never been done away with. Don't let these worldly pastors fool you. They, the most high laws, has never been done away with. Do not, I repeat, do not let these Sunday preaching pastors deceive you. In this series, I don't know how many videos it's going to take for me to complete this whole series, but in this series, you are going to start respecting the Sabbath day, the true Sabbath day. You're going to learn that the Sabbath day is a holy day. That's the most high's original holy day. And by the time I get finished with this series, you might even start respecting the Sabbath day even more. You might not even call it Saturday anymore, but I won't spoil it. This is a series and Brother Kwame is about to teach. So let's learn together because you're going to learn if you are ignorant to the most high Sabbath day. And you treat that sun God worship pagan day as that's his Sabbath day. You're going to learn all of these years. You wasn't worshiping the most high. You wasn't praising Jesus. You was worshiping Satan. And people, please don't take what I say out of context. I'm not saying that you can't praise or worship the Lord on Sunday or any other day of the week. But the Sabbath day is his sanctified holy day that he ordained for us to rest, that he ordained for us to keep it holy. Think about it. What do you see people doing on that pagan Sunday? They post they post things up on Facebook talking about some happy Sunday. Look at Chick-fil-A. That's supposed to be a Christian organization. But what do they do? They don't work on Sunday. They work on the Sabbath day. They are closed down on Sunday. And the thing is, see, people, the most high, he knows his people. He knows you all. That's why he clearly said, remember, remember Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Pay attention to what you are reading. He said, remember the Sabbath day, the seventh day, not the first day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. See, the devil, he tricked you all to to worship him. Because he desired to be worshipped in heaven. And people, I need you all to be very patient because this is about to be a very deep presentation. People, I'm asking you to join me because I'm inviting you in on this spiritual presentation. Is the Sabbath day Sunday or is it the seventh day of the week? And we're going to find out where did this Sunday doctrine originally come from. So people pay close attention throughout this series because you're going to learn a lot. And I need you all to go pray about it before you click on any of these videos that's, that I'm about to upload. 
because the truth is coming out. And in order for the truth to come out, you have to understand the truth. So when this when this truth come out, you will understand because you have prayed. You have asked the Lord for spiritual knowledge and spiritual understanding and you will be fine. So let us all learn together. Shalom. <laughs>